Hi, Cynthia Dodona for CelebrateGreece.com. We're here at the Fox Studio Lots for the premiere of My Life in Ruins, a fun romantic comedy that showcases the ancient wonders, the beauty and romance of Greece. Is there a highlight of the filming that oh, really yeah. touched your heart? Um, did you see him? His name is Alexi Georgioulis. <laughs> yes, That's the highlight of shooting in Greece. <laughs> Greece. A year ago, I hit rock bottom, so I came here to reconnect with my soul, find my mojo, or kefi, as the Greeks call it. My life in ruins. Obviously, we love Greece, and we wanted to show Greece in a positive light, and it is definitely that type of movie. You will feel like you just took a vacation. We just love this movie. Your movie is feel good and really shows off Greece, the ancient history and the yeah. beauty. And I, I would just love to hear what attracted both of you to the film. Uh, the linking between the ancient uh, eras and uh, nowadays, I would like you know, be one of them great uh, ancient Greeks philosophers. You don't question, think come on, Greece is the land of philosophers. Yes, but that is their job. My job is to drive the bus. You know, it pays better. I just wanted to kiss Alexi. <laughs> so I said yes to this role because I knew that I would get to make out with this guy. <laughs> That's a great. Yeah. And it, we rehearsed a lot. We did rehearse yeah. just yeah. now, just in case we have reshoots. Oh, um, you know, this whole impulsive and crazy and, you know, jump into a thing, thing. Don't you? Yeah. Your body's too small. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> it's, it's a nice movie if uh, a lot of us can't afford to travel this year and if you want to take a vacation for less than $20 after you leave this movie theater you will feel like you just were in Greece. We're with CelebrateGreece.com. Ooh, so, all good. Yeah, we'll have These some good very, questions yes, for check you. It out. <laughs> I guess you could say we're a thick branch on the Greek grapevine. <laughs> and I was wondering what attracted you to this movie because you've had the Midas touch with movies from Mamma Mia to Big Fat Greek wedding and what attracted you to My Life in Ruins? Well, anytime you can get Nia to be in one of your movies, you're in way ahead of the game anyway. But I, I just loved the script. I thought it was um, an amazing story that was being told. Uh, to me, I love that it's a romance, but it's also incredibly funny. And Nia does an amazing job of playing this character, Georgia, who's a tour guide. And we've all been on those ridiculously horrible tours, <laughs> or we've all had that really horrible tour guide or the good tour guide with the disrespectful guest. Listen, whenever we stop the bus, whether it be for restrooms or lunch or for touring, the driver or I will lock the bus. So you can leave whatever you need in there, cameras, sweaters, handbags, anything. What about sweaters? What inspired you to write the movie? I took a trip to Greece. I took a very bad bus tour in Greece where everything went wrong and uh, and yet I still wound up loving the place and uh, just having a wonderful time. I know there's a lot of improvising on the set. How was that for you coming from such a great comedy background? Sometimes we would um, have a little chat, Harland and I, about, you know, well, what if we do this or that? And um, they allowed us to, to just go wild, I guess. Fantastic. But not too wild, but you know, <laughs> yeah. You look just like Angelina Jolie. You must get that all the time. <laughs> Yes, I do. CelebrateGreece.com. Oh, my favorite channel. Yeah. I love it. Oh, finally. Yay! Wow, and there you are. There you are. Hey, Greece. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. We made each other laugh a lot. I mean, I laughed a lot on that set. When speaking to a Greek person, if you say, where is the store? And they look at you like, I don't speak English. Don't go, where is the store? The story. The ostora. The Stora, the Storopolis. Yeah, we don't like that so much. How was it filming there in Greece? Did you enjoy it? It was great. It was unbelievable. It, it's like a, it's like a giant island full of friendly folks and delicious food, and we're surrounded by the Mediterranean Sea and all the wildlife there. I saw a giraffe and a, a zebra and a walrus. <laughs> And, and a Parthenon. And, and a, a Parthenon. <laughs> Those are hard to spot. And now, we, am I talking to you? Yes. Or am I talking to them? You're talking to me. Okay. Where do, which way? Mr. Director. Okay, that's Mr. fine. Mr. Director. <laughs> oh, Mr. Director. Oh, Mr. Director. Am I no. in the shot? Is he in are the shot? Are me off right around here? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Fantastic. How tall are you? Five foot fifteen. <laughs> you look great. Is that better? You look wonderful. We appreciate you. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> we have great comedians here, including a comedic director. This was about a bus tour of the ruins in Greece. Well, when we arrived in Greece, we all got on a bus, the cast, the crew, and we went to the location. <laughs> okay, now this wall used to be over there, and the oracle stood behind it, and she would answer any questions that anyone had. Wasn't she a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's next for you? I can't tell. Okay. I can't tell. Well, guess what? I have an acting and comedy background, so oh, you, you, you need a so Greco-Roman goddess. I'm okay. Greek-Italian. <laughs> cool. Like most movies where at the end of the day everybody says, okay, see you tomorrow, mm -hmm. and goes off, we kind of everybody say, okay, where are we having dinner tonight? And we'd all go out. It was great. What's your favorite Greek food? I, I don't know what you call it, gyros. I like that big rotating yes. meat. I could eat the whole thing. I, just, <laughs> I go into the restaurant and say, I'll take one of those. <laughs> the whole stick, the whole right? Thing. The whole gyro thing. I like it. It gets right down to business. <laughs> what is it? It's meat. It's meat on a stick. Oh, Luca Mati's. But then I was really disappointed. I was in Greece, uh -huh. and there's a season for donuts because they said they don't serve the donuts. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> we also have a show called RomancingTheTable.com, and we're wondering what your favorite Greek food is. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. What are you or well, I just had a really nice shrimp in ouzo, which <laughs> yeah. I thought I probably smell quite bad, actually. I should probably need a breath mint. He doesn't know anything about Greek food because he's never been to Greece. And not only that, but I'm one of those weird vegans, you know, that that uh, eat only vegetables. Yeah. But Greece, they, they serve a lot Greek of vegetables. Salad. Oh, yes. The um, Mediterranean diet is based on greens, one of the healthiest oh, yeah. cuisines in the it's world. The yayas, the grandmothers, go out in the field and they're always picking all the greens and they found out that that contributes to longevity. Yaya? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And they eat horta. I could have told you that. You'd asked me earlier. <laughs> Souvlaki is a treat. With tzatziki, right? Yeah, Am I saying it right? Yeah, good. Cucumber yogurt sauce. I'm I, I actually, I keep getting those words mixed up. The other day I was trying to get home. I was out on the town and uh -huh. I saw a taxi go by. I was like, tzatziki. <laughs> so today so you're wearing blue. I am. I was inspired by good, you guys. I, I think people should go to their nearest Greek restaurant and have um, <laughs> some feta, some pita, some tiropita and maybe break a couple dishes. <laughs> That's fantastic. And you also told me your favorite Greek food was the desserts. And I Oh yes, we have all the favorite <laughs> Greek desserts, galaktoburiko, uh, dolmades, diples, curibiedes, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of good food out there. <laughs> so lukomades, mm -hmm. uh, diples, a good tara masalata is really awesome if you can find a really well-made one. Baklava, galaktoburiko, horiatiki, <laughs> of course, a horiatiki salad. It's like, uh, actually, at the end of a summer in Greece, I'm like, enough, enough horiatiki. <laughs> if I see one more cucumber and tomato together, I'm going to scream. Osaka, for sure. I love it. I could eat it now. Yeah. Do you have some? <laughs> Not on me, but I'll, I'll go make you some and have it delivered. <laughs> Can you tell me all the things that you say you celebrate in your, on that? You said you celebrate life? Love, uh -huh. Mediterranean food, mm -hmm. and Mediterranean travel. It's like we made this movie for you. Yes, you yeah. did. It's got everything that you celebrate. <laughs> it's, it's got tough. life, Zoe, Kefi, love. It's got everything that's insane. Well, thank you for making this movie for us. Oh, wow. Thanks and for going June 5th. Okay. Yes, we are. Not on Greek time. Friday, June 5th. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. On Greek time, time. Hey, not August. 2009. Okay. Yes, 2009, yeah. <laughs> Next year, you're right. People yeah. will be like, here I am, June 5th. Where's your movie? <laughs> it's like, it's, uh, that was a year ago. Come on. We'll get some coffee and you can talk. What? With that, we're working. Everyone should take the time for a coffee. That is the typical Greek mentality. Woman, where's your caffeine? I have caffeine. I have lots of caffeine. No, no, you don't. Yes, I do. No, that's why you're so uptight and skinny. Skinny? It's, it's the greatest joy for me of getting to live this life and getting to do really fun things is that my family is with me. My parents are here and they're experiencing with me and it means the world, which is why I put them in every movie. My favorite part about shooting this movie was the day at the Acropolis and up these hundreds and hundreds of steps walked my parents. That day, the, God had ordered perfect weather. The sky was bluer than blue and my mom and I just looked at each other and just went, how does this happen? Cynthia the Dona for CelebrateGreece.com.